families too. Yeah. My concerns are for we the people. Today I'm calling for unity and people power to form powerful, authoritative, educated and meaningful, peaceful action. I'm speaking out here today for and on behalf of our children, their future and our future. We, we must not acquiesce with our own enslavement. We must no longer be bound and gagged. and gagged by politicians and their social media joint friends. Our mainstream media has played its part too, and they must also be brought back to their rightful place of serving the people impartially. All too often we get a one-sided myopic viewpoint focused through a false outrage lens by the well-to-do uh, commentary classes in this country. Across the whole Western world, people are fearful of being forced vaccinated. And they too are listening today, let me tell you. This forced vaccination is not only repugnant to the written word of our constitution, it is also against the very spirit of it. Guardi forcing their way into your constitutionally protected dwelling where no law has been broken must be prevented at all costs. We must let the media and politicians and Guardi know that we the people know that civil infractions of statutes and acts do not permit them to act in this matter and we will hold them accountable. Too many of us are living in fear generated and hyped up by complicit media and political spin doctors. People are actually terrified and they ask me what they can do. To them I say this, we are doing it now! This is how we do it. We assemble peacefully and we say no. And we continue to say no. and our deeds. We will listen to all advice, medical, political and lawful, but we will decide for ourselves. The recent, the very recent Gulf Gate dinner tells us so much. They treat us like fools. Judges, senators and TDs flag the very rules that they say applies to us. I know from personal experience that those very same judges will unlawfully throw you in prison for any infraction of these so-called rules. Do you want the same judges sitting here in your case when all your rights are being abused? That's why, and remember, with the world watching, that's why I'm calling for a complete reset. Not, not a revolution, but an evolution. A complete reset of the legal system. A complete disbandment of the law society operated by the Crown or I'm under the King's Inn. These organisations were set up to keep us downtrodden, not to protect our rights. 
They are riddled with secret societies who look after their own. Look at the way the government and these societies colluded to allow, allow hearsay in courts to aid and abet vulture funds in the disposition industry, robbing the property of hard-working Irish people. Along with a legal recess, re uh, cameras must be allowed in every courtroom in this land. And any judge not upholding his oath of office and protecting of the rights of the people will be held accountable and removed from office. I was jailed in Mount Joy for three months because I told the judge he was a member of a secret society, which he was. So basically, I was sent to prison for telling the truth. I'm not just calling for a reset in Ireland. There has to be a reset worldwide. I see the UK's debt has just reached over two trillion pounds. This can never be paid. The world leaders are parasites and they're talking about a great depression. And that's where they will bring us if the people of the world don't unite. Then we'll follow food shortages, but not for them, for us. So I'm calling not just on Irish people, but for the great people of the entire globe to come together and stand together for a great recess. A great recess of the banking system and the enslavement of the people through debt. I'm calling for a complete reset of all debt. I'm calling for a complete reset of the legal systems around the world that have destroyed the rights of mankind in favour of criminal corrupt corporations. Judge Hogan formerly a Supreme Court judge in Ireland and now serving in the European courts stated that our constitution is either redundant or it's in play. And what he meant was, if our constitution is redundant, then government, all courts and guardies must stand down. But if it's in play, it's in play in its entirety. It is not a la carte. The government and the legal system cannot pick and choose what articles they want to adhere to and which they will ignore. Finally, for people living in fear, remember these little gems in our constitution and these principles of law. First, in Article 41.11 of the Irish Constitution, the family is recognised as having invincible rights which are superior to all positive law. Positive law is man-made law. Statutes and acts and Covid restriction nonsense. So any forced vaccinations or silly Covid restrictions the family are superior to all of that positive law. The courts say these rights only apply to families based upon marriage. This is how they will attempt to steal some of your rights away from you by chicanery. If they actually believe that the family in the constitution is only based upon marriage, then why are so many unmarried people and their children not getting ejected from the family courts? Surely they only apply to ma uh, married families. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. A beautiful principle in law, and this is a universal principle now that we know who our audience is today, is a law for the peoples of the world wide that you cannot delegate a power you do not possess. In other words, in a republic, 
All authority only comes from we the people. And sometimes, sometimes we don't realize that we are the we in we the people. From whom all authority arrives. So look around. This is where authority comes from. Not from them. I often hear RTE says that the authority stated this and the authority stated that. We are the authorities. That's why we refer to others as civil servants and public servants. They only exist to serve us, not diminish our rights. So here is the king. If you cannot uh, delegate a power you do not possess, then how can they claim to have a power you do not possess? I am one of the people in We The People. I do not have the right to stab any child with a hypodermic needle if I do not possess that right. And, and we live in a republic where all authority is derived from the people. If the people do not possess that right, then no such right can be delegated to any government agent. So unless we have the resets I speak of, and if some government agent wants to vaccinate you or your child against your wishes, you will have to go before one of their judges in the hope he will protect your rights. I don't hold out much hope for that, considering we already abuse and ignore every right you already possess. So let's all unite. Let's call for the resets I spoke of. I'm calling for ju not just for Irish people, but for the great people of the entire globe to come together and stand together for a great recess. And just a reminder, that's a great reset of the banking system, the government system, the enslavement of people through debt. I'm calling for a complete reset of all debt. I'm calling for a complete reset of the legal systems around the world that have destroyed the rights of mankind in favour of the corrupt criminal corporations. My final message to the people is, we are the many, they are the few. Remember Let's stand together and we will fight for our rights. Thank you folks, thank you very much. And just, just before I go, there is a party at my house. But, but apparently only six can come. But I have an idea. We can invite Turkey. If you bring your school bags, we can invite 40 if we say mass first. I have a better idea. We can invite 50, but two years have to get married. I have a better idea. We will invite 80, but you have to bring your golf clubs.